Now that we've learned what lists are and how to use loops, we're going to go over how to work with lists. Lists are an important key to any program in Python, so we need to understand our capabilities when using them. And we'll start with checking length. Often we'll need to know how many items are within a list. To do so, we use the len function. If we run that cell, this will output 3. We use the length function to, for several uses, whether it's checking for an empty list or using it within the range function to loop a list. We can also slice lists. We've talked about slicing a string. Lists work the same way so that you are able to, ex to access specific items. Slicing follows the same arguments as the range function. Start, stop, step. Now let's go ahead and run that cell. The outputs are shown in the commands next to each statement. We use bracket notation as if we are accessing an index. However, we separate the other values via a column. The order is always start, stop, step. By default, start is 0 and step is 1. You have the option to leave those values out if you'd like to keep the defaults. Using a negative number for the step position will result in slicing backward. If you use a negative number in the start or stop position, then the slice will either start or stop further from the back, meaning that if you state minus 5 at the stop position, it will slice from the start of the list all the way to 5 elements before the list ends. We can also add items. When you need to add items to your list, Python has two different methods for doing so. The first one is append. Append will always add the value within the parentheses to the back of the list. So let's see. If we run that cell, we declare a list with two items in it to start and then add it an integer value of 5 to the back of the list. The second method is insert, the, and it adds items to a list by using insert. This method requires an index to insert a value into a specific location. Let's see an example. The output will result in glove ball base basics. Glove is in the zero index now because we specified that index within our insert method. We can also remove items. There are several ways to remove items from a list. The following are the main two methods. The first one is pop. By default, the pop method removes the last item in the list. However, you can specify an index to remove as well. This method is also widely used to save the removed item too. When pop is used, it not only removes the item, but also returns it. This allows us to save the value into a variable to be used later. I'll run that cell and you'll see that using pop we can see that it removed the true item first, then the element in index 0, which happens to be the integer 5, while popping it out of the list. We saved it into a variable, which we later output along with a new list. Another method is remove. The remove method allows us to remove items from a list based on their given value. Here we'll see the, that the output is our sports lists without soccer, because we were able to remove it correctly. Now the reason why we use a try and accept with the removal is because if soccer didn't exist in the list, then the program would crash. Now Python provides a few functions for us to use the lists of numerical data, such as min, max and sum. There are several more that we can use, though 